Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Monday, January 30th. So the weekend was good, busy. Um, Saturday, I did go to the purse bingo with my mom and we did not win anything, but it was a lot of fun. It was good to hang out with her friends and just have some time, you know, to spend with her and yeah, it was a good time. And then when I got back from that, um, Bill and I had dinner reservations, so we went and had good Italian dinner. And then went and got ice cream, and it was a good day. And then Sunday, you know, we did the normal grocery store, and then we watched um, some football games. But I did no diamond painting and no stitching since Thursday. And because uh, Friday, so you, I did the paint with me on Friday. My job wasn't starting until 3 p.m. my time, and most of the time, when jobs start at that time, they are pretty short. We had plans to go over my stepdaughter's apartment for dinner because I have not seen their apartment yet. And, you know, it's getting to be 5 o'clock, 5.30, and the job still isn't over. And now you know me. I'm there for the duration. Like, I work late. I get up early. I do all of that. But I knew this was important to Bill so I said to my boss, I'm like, look, I have to leave at six o'clock. I said, I didn't think this job was going to go this long. I said, so I'll just finish my sections on Saturday. So the job wound up going until like 10 of eight, my time, I think. I mean, something crazy that you would not have thought it would have went. But that was also a little learning lesson that I'm not going to assume just because it starts at three o'clock that it's going to be short. No. So I did work on Saturday morning. I got up at 6 a.m. and I worked till almost 10 to finish my stuff. So, but the apartment's really nice um, that they have and it was good to go over there and spend time with them. So um, I did do my gratitude list today. I'm off work today, but I actually did have stuff to do for work. And there's like a job that's up in the air. So we're going back and forth with emails. And remember, we're getting our wills done today. They're coming to our house at four o'clock. So we're getting that done. And um, yeah, so I have seven things on my gratitude list for today. Number one is Bill. Just, just his love for me. He is always telling me he loves me. He does little things for me all the time. I'm very, very fortunate to um, have him as my husband. Number two, coffee. Always going to be one of my favorite things in this whole entire world. Number three, uh, my Joyce Meyer Bible. I really love the Bible. I bought it used and I didn't know when I bought it that the person that owned it before me tabbed all of the books like, you know, Romans Philippians, Galatians. So all I got to do is literally just go to the tab to get to the book, which is amazing. It's awesome. And they have highlighted through the book. So it was very interesting because I was finishing up um, the book of Philippians today and they had highlighted some things in there. I love to see what other people have highlighted. So I just, I'm so glad that I got that particular Bible. Um, number four, a day off today. Of course, always going to be thankful for when I can have downtime. Um, number five, a quiet house in the morning to write in my journal and read my Bible. I did that for a good, I want to say half hour, 45 minutes this morning. Yeah, no kids, no pets that, that stay with us. So when Bill is at work, the house is quiet for sure. Um, number six, both my parents are still living. Um, you know, I talked to my mom at the bingo I was like, you know, how did you know what to do when my grandparents died as far as handling their estate? And she like eased my mind a little bit because she was like, you just take the will, you know, you make an appointment with the registrar of wills, you take the will and they tell you what the next step is. So you just go step by step. So, and I told her all about it, like what we wanted to do and everything. And uh, she was like, yeah, we need to get theirs done. She really should. Her and my stepdad really should get theirs done because, you know, there's my brother, there's my sister, and they have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of accounts. My mom has a retirement account. I mean, a lot of things that, a lot of stuff to do, you know, when that time comes. Okay, and then number seven I have that we're getting our wills done today because that will definitely be a load off my mind. 
But, um, you know, and when I was reading in the Bible today, I started Thelosians book one, because there's two books. And the one thing in there that it said was you're supposed to relax, trust God, and enjoy your life. Meaning you're not supposed to stress how I have been every single day over dreading what's going to happen, right? You can't live your life like that. But okay, I did receive two diamond paintings that I ordered in the mail on Friday and also my two diamond painting pens I got from Lassen Lathworks. So let me show you the pens. The first one I absolutely love so much. It's this beautiful pink one. It's almost like milky, like it's not like completely clear. I like the ones that don't have like all the bumps in them because I just hold it down here. But um, I usually, um, he put a multi-placer on it, but I usually use a straightener on the end. But yeah, I really loved the pink one so much. And then this one has more bumps in it, but that's okay. I just loved, it's like a blue glitter. The glitter is very subtle. It's very, very pretty. I love that. So got those two and I'm done buying pens. Like I have both of my things are gonna be filled. I have one more pen coming and it's gonna be filled and I'm not getting any more. I say that, but who knows? Okay, but now the diamond paintings because that's what we're here for, right? So both of these are square. Uh-huh. And I was gonna do a paint with me today because I found a post on one of the Facebook groups about what is your most hated thing about diamond painting. I don't, I forget what it was, but it listed like a whole bunch of things that I thought would be really good talking points. But today just went by and just no time, like no time to, to do a paint with me like I like to do a paint with me. So the first one I got was Forest Sprite by Christine Karen. So I was right on the name. Remember when I said I ordered this? So it's square and it's a 20 by 26. Now I normally print out the spec sheet from Diamond Art Club's website because it will um, say like how many AB diamonds and all that, but I'll be able to figure that out. Oh, there's a small sticker. Of course, the, they give you that little sticker. So let's open the toolkit because I always like to see what washi tape and needle minder or cover minder I get. Can't open it. And of course, you know, when you get the, um, you get a square kit, you get tweezers and these tweezers are really, really sharp. And I got a pretty purple pen this time. I really like that one. Okay, so the cover minder I got, I don't think I have this one. I might have it. It's like an iridescent, looks like a gummy bear. I like it. Yeah. And then the washi tape I got is, it's like peeling apart or something. It is this pretty blue. So I really like that. Very pretty. Okay. So let's look at the good part though, the canvas and the diamonds, because that is our favorite part, right? Okay. So here are the diamonds, lots of diamonds, um, 56 colors. And it looks like four AB diamonds. Very pretty. Here's the bigger piece of artwork. It's gorgeous. I've actually seen this one done. Um, I feel like there's a lot of white in that background. I haven't done a lot of white in a background for a really long time. I don't know if I've ever done one that had a lot of white. All right, I'm gonna flip it over so I can roll it the opposite way to flatten it out. The colors are so pretty on this. There is a lot of white. All this is white, all that. But look at it, isn't she so pretty? It's not too, too big. Um, she's gorgeous though. Her face is so pretty. 
and the AB diamonds, it'll look really, really good. Really, really love that one. So, so pretty, but yeah, a lot of white in the background. But that's where, um, you know, I would do like checkerboarding, especially with squares, I do checkerboarding. Because believe it or not, uh, my first two diamond paintings that I ever did were square. It was before I knew that rounds even existed and I got a round partial by mistake and did it and just loved it and it felt so much easier. But there are so many wonderful images that they render in the square diamond painting. So I need to give it another shot. Um, and now that they've like redone the kits, People say that they snap together really nice and you don't have the gaps like you do with round diamond paintings. But let's face it, the round ones anyway, when you step back, you don't see all those gaps. You just don't. Okay, so the next one is probably my largest diamond painting that I've ever owned. It is Rainbow Flower Power. Now this one is probably the most expensive one too. Um, I want to say it was $75 on their site. I had a coupon, so I got like $10 off. Um, but it is also a square. It is by Lars Stewart. And it is 38.6, so like 39 inches, you might as well say, by 27.6. So a large, large diamond painting. And it actually is like that. But we are going to take a peekity peek because I have seen this one completed. I know that there are six AB diamonds because someone said that. Um, this one just came back in stock not too long ago, but it is very heavy, lots of diamonds. Holy moly, look at that. Yeah. That's the little sticker that a lot of people, which I think is awesome, they put it like on the end, end of the box. So when you go to organize or have your diamond paintings like stacked somewhere, you can see what's what. So let's open up the toolkit and see what, I swear, I love this sweatshirt, but it gets like literally any little piece of lint, it goes right to it. Okay. The washi tape is pretty. It's like a browny red flower. And the needle minder is also very cute. It's a bunny holding a strawberry. <laughs> or cover minder, I should say. I got a green pen in this one. All right, let's get a gander at that canvas, right? Yeah, I don't leave mine in the plastic bag once I undo it and look at it. I um, I just put it, I roll up the diamonds in the canvas. Wow. Look at all of that. Gee whiz. Boy, that is a lot of diamonds. But look at all those beautiful, beautiful colors. You can see there's a pink AB right there. Oh, that's heavy. That's got some weight to it. But here is the, whoops, here is the bigger um, artwork. 61 colors. So when I do this, I'll have, and I, if I ever get my credenza, right, a couple months away. Um, but yeah, six AB diamonds. I'll have to use one tray, like from something else. But here is, and I think it goes this way. Here is the bigger, isn't it so gorgeous? I thought it would look so, so good in here, like with just with all the colors. Okay, I'm gonna try to, like I said, unroll it. And I know it's sideways, you do it sideways. I mean, the canvas is supposed to be sideways when you're done. Just trying to straighten it up a little bit. Okay, this is so big, I'm not gonna, Ooh. Woo! oh man, let me like kind of try to step back. This is so huge. This is huge! Wait a minute, let me like push my chair over here. Let me stand up and show you. 
Oh my, my. Look at that. You can see me. Look how big that is. It's huge. Love, love, love it though. Like I said, I've seen someone that did it. Stunning, just in all the colors. But holy moly, that will literally take up. What I'm gonna have to probably do whenever I go to do it, I just can't get over the size of it. I'm gonna have to roll it in from the side because my table, it, it goes over my table. So I am going to have to roll it up on the side as I do it. So it's gonna be a little bit different. I love it so much. I'm so glad I was able to get it. My favorite ones are the, the green and purple and all that. But yes, yeah, six ABs, like, look how long this will take me to do. I mean, look how long it's taking me to do April. And you know, somebody else, Jill, in one of the groups, she was, I mean, in the group that me, her, and McKenna are in. I'm sitting here looking at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Um, she was like, how can people get done these diamond paintings so quick? How can they get them done so quick? Number one, you know, everyone has a different amount of time in the day to do a diamond painting. Um, I feel like I am very slow because some days I'll have like an hour. Some days I don't diamond paint at all. Um, a lot of people who are retired or single and don't have spouse or children can diamond paint five, six, seven hours a day. That's how. And um, also multi-placing. And she was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. You know, those that use multi-placers can get it done faster. Um, to me, I am a single placer all the way. To me, it's not a race. And it's funny that I even say that right now because I went on the Etsy store that I bought my release papers from and I actually bought some more release papers, but in smaller sections because the ones I had were like four by five. So I bought ones that were like 2.6 by five. So a little bit smaller, but they had one that said, trust the process, enjoy the journey. Like, don't rush it. You know, this is not a competition. It's not a race. Um, you should not feel bad if you don't complete something as quick as someone else does. Enjoy it. It's supposed to be enjoyable, a craft, something that you love. I love this rainbow flower one so much. Oh my, 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 my. Okay, but that's all I got. Um, I hope you guys are having, had a good weekend, that you're having a good Monday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.